today's chat GPT test. I am trying to get it to take an R script and rewrite that as an R markdown file with some explanatory text. And you can see here, this is the prompt I gave it. I said, rewrite this R script as R markdown file, uh, add headers and explanatory text between the code chunks, return as unrendered markdown that I can copy. So, and then here's just some, some text here, and you can see it's got some comments in there. It's breaking it up. All right, so let's look at what it returned. So you can see here that um, it's kind of good. Um, it's got some headers there. It's got some code chunks, um, you know, and it added some explanatory text. I like that. That's kind of what I wanted. I didn't want to have to write that myself. Um, and great. So then I'm like, okay, that's good, but I want to have the R markdown that I can copy. So then I asked it, can you return as markdown, not HTML? And a no, that's not what it needed to hear because it kind of just returns the same thing. So still, I haven't gotten something I can copy. So I try again, like, what do I need to tell it? Can I have unrendered markdown for the entire answer? Um, and you can see, no, it's still not doing it. I did try things like, can you return it in one code block? And I always got this same thing. So then at that point, I went to Google and I said, um, looking for somebody who um, had solved this problem for what prompt you give it to get the output you want. <coughs> and this is what I found. So in it has to do with it... Um, uh, escaping anything that would render the markdown. Um, yeah. So, so that was the key thing that I didn't know I needed to do. So here's the prompt that worked. Reformat the answers markdown that can be copied into an editor. Uh, output. Um, so it's saying, you know, normally it's output is HTML, but I want the actual markdown. And um, I told it what it needs to do, that it needs to escape anything that would render the markdown. That was what finally worked. And now here you can see it's not in a, a, a code block, but that's fine because I can just copy this. It's showing me, um, it doesn't have the, the YAML header, but that's okay. Um, the mainly what I wanted was I wanted, you know, these code blocks here, and then I wanted just some, you know, blah, blah, explanatory text in here. Okay, so I would say, you know, at the end, it was success, but I did have to do quite a bit of Googling to figure out what the right prompt was to get what I want.